welcome to Art Club. My name is Annie and today we're going to be looking at how to draw animals. Now I love drawing animals and it's really because you can really try and get their characters across. You know every animal is different and they behave differently and we can try and get that across in our pictures. It's a really fun thing to do. So for instance here this is my little dog Bigsby looking like a very good boy and he's looking like that because actually just up here there was a biscuit being held just out of shot so he was doing his best good face. So what do you need to start drawing animals? You'll need a pencil, rubber is very handy, some paper and a sharpener will come in useful too. And then the other thing you're going to need is an animal. Now you might have a pet that you'd like to draw Maybe you have a pet in the family, it might not live with you, it might live with a grandparent, maybe you'd like to draw that. So you could either get yourself a photograph of that animal, or you could look in a book and find an image of an animal that you like, because it doesn't always have to be a pet. I've been working on this drawing of a squirrel, and I don't have a pet squirrel, so I was looking at a picture from a book. Or maybe you have a pet and it is sitting nice and quietly having a snooze. That's a really good time to draw them. So, let's get going. So what I do when I'm starting to draw an animal is I have a good look at it and I start to break it down into slightly simpler shapes because it can seem quite complicated to begin with so we want to make it as simple as we can to begin with. So if I look at this what I can see is that actually it's this kind of oval shape here and then I've got these two little triangular shapes that come at the top and then I've got these two sort of circular shapes here so if you look at this slightly simplified version of it you can see that really clearly you know we break it right down into this simple shape and then only once we've done this do we then go back in and add all that lovely kind of fur texture and all those different patterns. I'll show you the same thing on a slightly more complicated animal. So here we've got the squirrel and again what I've done is I've had a really good look at it and I've realized that we've got this kind of oval shape here, it's almost an egg shape actually another oval over here this leg here is made up with a kind of circular shape and it just pops out the end and then this lovely wave of a curve for the tail so even if your animal is quite complicated you can start to break it down I'm just showing you here on tracing paper but you can just do this by eye you can start to translate what it is you're drawing into these simple shapes. So that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to start a little drawing of my dog. So I'm going to be drawing from a photograph today. Uh, you can either copy along with me so sort of follow along what I'm doing or you can also work from your own picture or from an animal in real life. So what I'm starting to do it's just block out the basic shapes so I can see that on the head here it's this kind of round circle and then his snout so the sort of end of his nose comes out something like this so we've got his basic face shape in there I'm just going to put in a couple of lines here to show his neck and then let's put in his body so in the picture that I'm working from he's sitting down and he becomes this kind of triangular shape so if you watch the shape I'm putting in here it's like a straight line down here it curves out over here to the back and then comes in a sort of straight line across here. So we've got this kind of triangle shape with this circle on the top and then this little kind of oval shape over here. 
So let's just add a bit more to that. So I'm going to think about his body now. So his body actually comes all the way down here and curves around to where he's sitting on the grass here. And then he's going to need his legs. So sometimes with legs it's tempting to just draw them coming out of the body. But actually they start much higher up. So his leg I'm going to start up here and then curve down to meet the bottom of that triangle that I've drawn in. Just bring out a little paw there. And then this back leg is kind of curved. He's sat down so you can see it curved there. And then his little paw is coming out here. So two more things I think we'll add in. Let's think about his ear. So the ear kind of comes up a little bit from the top of the head. And then you get this lovely sort of flap down. And then finally I'm going to put in his tail. So the tail just curves from the back of the body. He's pretty happy in this picture so I'm going to make it come quite upright. There we go. So that's our basics and now we're going to start working in and adding in a bit of character. Okay, so I'm just going to start to put in a little bit more detail. I'm going to think first about some of his features. So starting with his eye here, he's got brilliant little eyebrows. So I think we'll kind of make sure we put those in. And then something else is that his ears, so most of his fur is quite sort of wiry and rough, but his ears are really soft and smooth. So when I'm drawing in his ears, you can see that when I'm using the pencil, I'm trying to make really sort of smooth marks to describe his very sort of soft little ears. So in other areas, I might use some quite sort of rough pencil marks to show where he's got kind of really wiry fur. But here, let's make it nice and smooth and soft. And I think I'm going to think about his mouth a little bit. So his mouth sort of curves in here. And then here we've got his kind of lower kind of jaw here. Now he's got a truly excellent little beard. So let's definitely kind of start putting that in. So I'm using little sort of soft curls to describe that. And then I think his nose is quite an important thing. Let's pop that in. So he's got a very sort of dark nose, so I'm just sort of pressing down a little bit harder with my pencil than maybe I have in other places. And here, I'm starting to work into the body. If you look at how I'm using my pencil here, I'm sort of following the direction of the fur. So the fur here, it sort of curves around. So that's how I'm drawing it. So I'm just going to work across the body now, just adding in this fur texture. In some areas I might do slightly lighter, so I might lift my pencil up and just do very sort of light marks where his fur is a bit lighter. And then where it's darker, so he's got kind of a dark patch over here, I'll just press in a little bit more. So you can see that I've now gone over the whole body with all these little lines to make the kind of fur texture. Now I'm just going to have a little look at the legs. I'm just going to make a couple of tiny adjustments to them because I think that actually maybe 
this leg is actually slightly narrower than I had initially drawn and it sort of comes in here this is kind of his elbow is around about here I'm just gonna sketch that in and then again we'll look over at this leg check that's all okay and then let's have a little look at the face so I want to use the same sort of marks that I used on the body on the face I just might be using them slightly lighter so again I'm sort of following the direction of the fur so here the fur kind of curves around his sort of nose here so we can draw that on and he has these kind of whiskers we can draw those in too. So if you're drawing something like a cat maybe and it's got lots of pattern on it, you could do like a nice soft smooth bit of shading over the whole thing and then work on top of that and introduce some of those patterns. So I'm going to have a little look here and I think he's just, he's actually got some little kind of fur that kind of sticks up around here so I'll make sure I put that in. So now I'm just going to carry on doing this all over the face and then I'll probably start working on the legs as well because the fur in his legs kind of curls around like this almost and he's got little tufty bits around his elbows. So I'm just going to carry on with that for now. So I'm nearly there now. I'm just going to do a little bit of work on the tail. And then the other thing you can do is if you've drawn your animal, you know, right at the moment mine is sitting on a white piece of paper. But maybe I want to draw where my animal is. So I could draw the park in the background. If it's an animal that lives in the woods, I could draw the woods. So you can really have fun drawing a background for your animals as well. Now, Bigsby is a big fan of the park, so I might do a little bit of grass around him or something like that. But at this stage, I'm quite happy with this drawing. It's got something of his little expression in there. And that's what we're looking for, really, is if we can get something of the character of the animal across. So all I'm going to do now is draw in a little background and then I'll be finished. have it our portrait of Bigsby. We're both really looking forward to seeing what you draw and hope you can share your pictures with Art Club. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can take part in future videos and if you keep an eye on the Art Club Facebook page and Instagram you can see what they're up to. And in the meantime Bigsby's just going to slowly nod off. Bye everyone. <laughs>